But this game looks really cool. It's like a looter shooter. We always ask questions. What is it that actually exists? Where does the origin come from? Where are we headed to? In the end. If you feel confused, just reload your gun. God, don't tell me this is another anthem. Sorry, I know I said that I would keep my uh, thoughts till the second watch, but oh my god, I sneezed so I paused it. And this dead ass looks like a scene from Anthem's trailer. This looks like a combination of every single looter shooter that's popular right now in one. I don't know how I feel about that, but I think I like it. Mobility is going to be a big thing. Literally Warframe, Outriders, and Destiny 2. And you know what? I think I'm going to be okay with that. Steam Beta, October 20th. That could be big. Oh my. Um, no, one second. Alright, here. I want to go back through the trailer a little bit. I'm I'm actually excited for this. I I will admit I have been we were all we all of us we were all burned by Anthem. Right? That trailer made us think one thing and it totally did not give us that. So, I don't want to just base it off of the trailer, but there's some parts of the trailer that do make me kind of excited. Like, if this is how it looks in engine, that's going to be pretty. It also seems like it's some sort of technologically advanced era, like society. <clears throat> so that's why I'm kind of getting, like, I don't know why, but the name First Descendants and this scene right here, right? I'm kind of getting a Roken vibes from Warframe, which. I, I think it would be interesting. I know it probably has nothing to do with Warframe, but, like, the gold and the technology, like, the weird-looking technology, but it's, like, super advanced. I'm really just getting, like, a Roken vibes from Warframe. But then, like, we go to this scene, and this looks like The Last of Us. But you still see that, like, gold 
in like there's still gold accents in some places where are we headed to in the end this also kind of like i don't know does that like it kind of looks like that's like a brain or something that they're using to i don't know just re this right here this looks like anthem reload your gun. i don't know and he says listen reload your gun just re oh he says reload your gun i thought he said reload your game and i was like that's kind of that's kind of fourth wall breaky so these power suits right like they're definitely going to be the classes they kind of give me warframe vibes like a mix of like the anthem power suits with the warframe abilities like the look of the anthem power suits because warframes spoilers warframes are actually just like bio like living flesh uh armor suits but like this looks a lot more like less clean than the warframes do like it looks like almost like a little more cyberpunky which i kind of like this this character uh i don't want to assume but it looks like a she so i'm going to refer to her as she reminds me a lot of the warframe volt with the speed this guy this guy just looks like your casual like mercenary andy right like he's like kind of good at everything but not amazing at any one thing uh that's definitely the little companion cube thingy from destiny 2 i've never played destiny 2 but i know that they have little like i don't know what they're called what are they called uh little friend thing in destiny 2 Uh, Destiny 2. Tiny robot? Yeah, this thing. Tiny floating. This totally isn't it. The ghost? What is, what is this? Destiny 2. All right, but tell me that this doesn't look like this or oh maybe it's all right i might be wrong she might be focusing her power through that i might be completely off base they it seems like it's going to be some sort of apocalyptic or like barren world but also have like lush scenes but like civilization on this planet clearly died out a long time ago. If this is gameplay with no HUD, which I don't think it will be, but like this looks amazing. All right, so I got a pyromancer, a grappling hook guy, this guy, it looks like he's like a tank, but also this is just like a jumping rhino stomp, which is kind of cool. That's cool. Yo, you always gotta get grapple hooks. Every game now has grapple hooks. Like, it, I don't know why it became such a big trend, but like every game has some sort of grapple hook now. I like these monsters though, like I like how like a lot of the enemies are gonna be like almost larger than life and like these guys look like they're gonna be the fodder. So I'm kind of getting like low-key Power Ranger vibes, right? Like, I don't know, did any of you guys watch Power Rangers growing up and like remember like they'd fight in their human like armored forms and then they'd beat the guy and then the main baddie would be like, yo, we're gonna uh super size like walmart super size this dude and then he comes back and he's like taller than skyscrapers and then all of a sudden like the robots 
they turn into like the uh what was it power zord oh my god am i really about to look this up uh power rangers big mac what is the power rangers Yeah, they had Zords. Power Rangers Zords, Universe Power Rangers, colossal biomechanical robots, right? Like I'm not I'm on to something here, chat. Don't say that I'm crazy. I'm I'm on to something here. Like Power Rangers Zords are colossal biomechanical robots. Some are sentient while others are just piloted machines. When monsters grow to incredible sizes, only the Power Rangers can fight them by summoning and piloting enormous war machines. Yeah, so... I I feel like the fights, you're just going to be fighting without the Zord. You're going to be fighting the Zords. So, I'm guessing it's going to be four-person co-op. And... Maybe these are two different classes, or maybe there's some sort of cosmetic. Like, uh, you'll be able to have, um, like, like, of course, you're going to be able to play the same character in your squad, but, like, you'll be able to co cosmetically change their look. But the more I look at it, the face of this character is way too narrow to be equivocal to this character. So, I don't know. But they both do have the glowing orange in their arm. But that looks like a real human arm, not a robot arm. <clears throat> also, this is like straight out of the Destiny intro, isn't it? Like the Destiny 2... The main bad guy, again, I don't know his name. I'm not going to look it up because it's going to be a waste of time. But, like, that's exactly what that looks like. Yo, we got a little bit of a Halo. Uh, Halo Reach Hollow Dome. Like, the uh, suit power for the shield. I wonder, so based off of this character here, right? We saw her in the intro, and there were these, like, green vials going into her suit. So I almost wonder if there's going to be some sort of, like, elemental damage system, and, like, maybe hers is, like, poison. Like, she imbues her guns with poison or something. Because if that, that would kind of track with it, because we've seen ice powers, fire powers and electric powers. So I feel like there's going to be elemental damage in there. And it's definitely, I'm thinking she's going to be like the poison. Cause like, look at those bullets too. Like it's splattering what I can only assume is like poison or like radiation or something. Maybe. Oh, okay. So we learned more about the guy with the hood has these two, like, turret robots. That's kind of cool. So, that character, I, I was a little off. I said, like, Halo Reach Power Suit ability, but that also kind of looks more like, uh, like, right here when he does this. This looks like Reinhardt Shield from Overwatch. So they're all gonna have access to the zipline. The zipline isn't exclusive to one character. Here's the ice girl. Clearly, the ice girl is clearly wearing a different outfit here than she was in the first one. So there's definitely gonna be customization. This guy, this guy is literally Volt and Goss from Warframe. Like, tell me this doesn't look like Warframe carrying a giant oversized arc weapon. Running super fast.
this just seems like the Destiny 2 guy. Also, this is a face that only a mother could love. Like, I'm not trying to be mean to this dude, but like, sheesh. Sheesh. That guy got fucked up at some point. Like, that looks like it's attached to his skull. Oh, this guy, something bad happened to him. Superpower Ultimate Mode. 